about to miss the flight because our flight was delayed from Bali to Jakarta and now we're trying to catch the plane to Pada. Otherwise, if we don't catch it, we're gonna miss the ferry and then we're gonna stop in Padang for three days and we're gonna miss the swell and you don't wanna do that, no way. Better hurry. somehow it was a miracle they said it's closed the flight and somehow I don't know they opened it for us so whew, that was a close call But our luggage is still not here. We got one hour and then we have to depart. So we might have to talk to the captain and hold the boat a little bit because otherwise I have no surfboards for three days and that's no fun. We're uh -oh. supposed to be already going for four minutes. Oh, yeah. Thanks, captain. Yeah. Mentawais are a small group of islands in Indonesia of Sumatra. It's a surfer's paradise due to the huge selection of truly world-class waves in such a concentrated area. These beautiful islands are somewhat isolated and undeveloped, however there are still some unique places to stay. Now I'm going to take you to my favorite left-hander wave called Macaronis. Finally we made it to Macaroni's resort. This is my third time here. I absolutely love this place. White sand beaches, palm trees and perfect waves. This is paradise.
best thing to do after surf. This is Mark, the founder of Macaroni's Resort. And we just had a sick wave out there and now I'm going to interview you this legend. So my question is, when was the resort built and which size? Okay, uh, the resort was actually built in 2004 and um, it's in a, it's a really beautiful lagoon there. So we actually built some pole bungalows in the water, eight sort of family villas and they were thatched. We had a tsunami in 2010, so fortunately nobody was injured or killed well there was one guy that got taken but he was okay and we lost all of the bungalows so we actually uh, rebuilt the resort in 2011. Originally we had a lot of surfers just surfers coming but we now have a lot of families and couples uh, because the facilities are like quite good for non-surfers as well plus we have the beginner surfer wave out here fish fingers um, and also mini mackers so it's not just for experienced surfers it's also for people who would like to learn how to surf or partake in other activities like snorkeling yeah. and village tours and things like that. It makes me so happy to see so many smiling and happy kids here, even though they have so little. They aren't spoiled with all the trappings of modern times and they seem to be stoked living the simple life. A large barge ferry was introduced in 2008. 13 hours can put up, so it's a big journey. So it's not the ideal for non-surfers because it's so far. But now there's actually a fast ferry which takes just four and a half hours from Padang directly to Macaroni's Resort. So that's uh, never been the case before. So we hope that that will open it up for more people to come and enjoy the place. I love about this place that you don't need to get out of your bed to see how the waves are all you have to do is just to switch on your TV and then you can see how many people are out there what are the conditions and then you can decide you want to sleep in or you're gonna get out and surf yeah. 